Jamie Foxx won an Oscar for his portrayal of Ray Charles in the film Ray. Now he's out with a TV comedy series. And here's the funny thing. He's more or less playing his own real life role as a dad. Here's Michelle Miller. I think you were trouble from the start. Trouble? You were real bad trouble from the start. On film, Jamie Foxx has hit all the right notes and taken some hits. It raises a tear. But before his Oscar winning performance in Ray, before taking vengeance in Django Unchained. Today started out as the best day of my life. And before his recent role as the first African-American star of a Pixar movie, it was the small screen that captured his heart. I was a TV fanatic. I grew up watching Dick Van Dyke. I grew up watching Fred G. Sanford and Sanford and Son, The Jeffersons. There's nothing like TV where you can cook it serve it, they eat it, come back, cook it again. And Fox is serving it up one more time, nearly three decades after he became famous on the TV series In Living Color and The Jamie Foxx Show. Fox has returned to his comedy roots, this time on a new Netflix series, Dad, Stop Embarrassing Me. What are you wearing? What do you mean, what am I wearing? I'm wearing the latest skinny jean. Those jeans aren't skinny, they're starving. Honey, Fox honey, plays honey, the honey, hip honey, yet dorky honey, dad to honey. teenage Sasha, a role modeled after his relationship with his eldest daughter, Corinne, an executive producer on the series. Whoa, Jesus! How about you trying to battle, girl? The world caught a glimpse of her when Fox took her to the Academy Awards. Jamie Fox and Ray. But Corinne says by the time she was a teen, having a famous dad, came with some trade-offs. He's very charismatic and he's, you know, an entertainer. And that's great when he's an actor, but when he's a dad, that's the last thing a teenage <laughs> daughter wants her dad to be, which is over the top and drawing attention to himself. Wait a and minute. you are kind of more over the top. And so we had all these hilarious stories and yeah. we thought, why not make these episodes of a TV show? Yo, Sars, woo, get this on your TikTok. Hey. <laughs> I don't want to lose any followers. Your dad is so cute. Oh, puppies are cute. He's embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, how much of it is true? Because your dad on the show is kind of corny. Oh! <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? I think that's the thing. I think all dads think they the dopest. Yeah. But your kids be like, man, this corny dude right here, man. <laughs> Take the time Corinne began cheerleading in high school. Now, once she started the cheerleading squad, we started our cheerleading squad for her. So we would show up at the games with a picture of her on our t-shirts. We wanted to just show her that we love her. Mm -hmm. And even though it's embarrassing for her at the time, we know that it's what I call good embarrassing. And Jamie got plenty of that from his grandparents, especially his grandma Estelle. They adopted him when he was seven months old. All I knew was them as parents, and they were there 100%. She had my back in every way, so it was like, she's the one who made sure I got the piano, and she said, this is gonna take you all over the world, and you know, she was, she was right. I ended up going to college on a classical piano scholarship, and ended up pursuing my dreams. What would you say is the most important thing your grandmother taught you? She just taught me to get out there and don't, and, and don't limit yourself. And it was in his hometown of Terrell, Texas, that Fox took that advice and tried comedy. I would watch Johnny Carson. It was so hot today. How hot were all those different jokes? I would take them and just tell them at school. That was like, you know, my shtick. And it stuck. While studying music in San Diego, he began to hit the comedy clubs. Soon, TV beckoned. This country bumpkin right here from Texas, very funny stand-up comedian, Jamie Fox. When Fox joined In Living Color, a ratings powerhouse in the 90s, he found it daunting. Tell Dick up here so quick, yo. Hey, look here, look here, baby. You better chill, all right? You better chill, because I will, I, I, baby, I will brush you to death. W were you intimidated when you came on board? Almost definitely. To be the funniest person everywhere I went, and to go on the show and be the eighth funniest person. I was the eighth funniest person. I would watch these dudes work and I said, ooh wee, I can't do that yet. Oh, hey, you're talking to Al, Merry Christmas McAfee here. 
As he and veteran actor David Allen Greer recall, it was groundbreaking, a black sketch comedy show told from an African-American point of view. For all of us, it was Xanadu. It was yeah. the city of gold. What if we had our own show? What if we had a Saturday Night Live that was all black? Hi, I'm the miracle worker. You must be little Helen Keller. Its skits sometimes push the boundaries of political correctness. And welcome to Men on Film. Its social commentary could be biting. The nominees for best scared brother on a police show are. Its humor, a little raunchy. But for Jamie Foxx, it was heaven. I went on to a set that was black writers, black directors, black producers, black cast. I couldn't believe it. I thought I was in the wrong place. Even the smell was different because the catering, it was like, was that a smother chicken? It was, it was all As Fox went on to create his own TV show, make a name for himself in dramatic films, and record a string of albums, Greer gave him high fives all the way. I'm a fan of his. I've told you yeah. this before. Yeah. And the greatest joy is to watch a tree grow. So that's what it was like watching Jamie. It wasn't like he won the lotto. No, he was a tree that grew. Now the two are reunited on Dad, Stop Embarrassing Me. Greer plays Pops, Jamie's father. Pops, what are you doing? It smells like a Snoop concert down here. Why can't you be like every other father, just get drunk and pass out? I'm healing my body. This is medicinal. Like Fox, Greer brings real-world experience to the role. He's a dad himself. My daughter's 13, and she had her little friend, this dude, this little boy, they grew up together. He came to the house. Every time they go to another room, well, what y'all doing in there? <laughs> she was like, Daddy, he's like my brother. I was like, uh, like your brother? Okay, well, cool then. <laughs> we'll leave the door open. As for Jamie Foxx, Corinne and her half-sister Annalise give him high marks. So how would he rate as a dad? What grade would you give him? A plus. <gasps> he thinks the world of us and we can feel it. And it, that's really powerful for a young girl to grow up and have such a strong father figure in her life. The man balancing family and a flourishing career knows just how lucky he is. To be able to Sing what you want to sing. Go do your television show. Go do your movies. I mean, it's a, um, it's a blessing. 